Good morning, good morning. Uh, Monday morning is about 10 minutes to 8. We're waiting on Jerry to get here. Uh, and then we got a bunch of grass to cut today. We got a lot. So, yeah, we need to get. We got a whole big list, so. Uh, and there is a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, I put more on the list today than uh, I've been putting on there, so uh, I'm, I want to see how good a time we can make. You just can't. I don't know, man. You just can't get too hung up in 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 waiting on people, man. I I can't stand it, you know. Uh, but he ain't late yet, so but he ain't early. It's unpredictable. It's it's like I say every year. It's unpredictable that gets me more than anything, not knowing. Uh, so he did text me and say he's, he's on his way. Uh, that was about 15 minutes ago. So he's gonna be right over, he, he ought to be pulling up right at eight, man. Uh, if nothing, if you don't run into no school traffic or nothing. A lot of times, you know, these guys come out here, they, they, they don't give themselves any room for, you know, error or anything. And not that, you know, five minutes or 10 minutes, you know, after eight is a big deal, but I want to get started at a certain time and I want it to be regular so I can get better. Can't get better if we all over the place and 8.30 one day, eight o'clock the next day. It's okay to be like that in the early part of the season when you're, you know, uh, when, you know, the, all the yards aren't ready and, and you haven't started really mowing. Uh, but this week right here is going to be the first week where we're doing a lot of mowing. Uh, so I, I anticipate, uh, I'm going to try to cram these three days in, uh, of the mowing. So, uh, me and Toby can do the skid steer job later in the week. Probably not going to have the young buck on the skid steer job because, well, it's just too much trouble, man. He doesn't have a way to get to work. It's, I just rather not, you know, because he, and he doesn't know anything and he'd just be a wasted, you know, he'll work, but you know, he, it would be a, a, a big waste of, of resource and he would expect a certain amount of money, you know, uh, on a skid steer job. So in his, in his head, that's how he thinks. He thinks because we got a skid steer on the job, he makes more money. Uh, sometimes that that's true, but not, it's not the rule of thumb or nothing. I try to do the best I can, but you know, but it's all good, man. We're going to, uh, we're going to, either way, we're going to, we're going to get this, uh, list done, uh, to the best of our ability. So I think, I, I really think that me and, me and Toby could just about do this whole list and still be home at two. Uh, maybe, maybe there's one on here where y'all remember we did the kids here cleanup job. And uh, we were going to put those uh, straw and seed out. And, uh, but the owner didn't want us to do it because it was fixing a pour down raining. So we're going to have to go back and do that. And, you know, I really, I told him, you know, uh, because the skits there make such a mess in some places that I would throw some straw and seed down. And I got some rice seed. But hell, that was back when it was still cold. Uh, you know, this rice seed's not going to do that great now, you know. Uh, and we've been over there a couple times, you know, but, and he, 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 the owner over there didn't seem to, I, I figured he'd just gone, gone just not, not put the uh, straw and seed down. But I donated, and I said donated, three bales of straw, and I got some seed, just some rice seed for erosion stuff, you know, quick growing stuff. And uh, I was just gonna donate it because you know that's what I do on skid steer jobs. They're paying good, but see us having to go over there and make a special trip over there, uh, even though we're doing the yard uh, to do that seed is a pain in the butt, man. You know, just a big pain. Now, everything that we do outside of the lawn care, if it ain't a planned thing or a big money making thing then I don't want to do it so there was a video uh, that my buddy put out uh, New Hope Cuts over there and he was talking about you know uh, how he'll do one you know he'll do one time cuts and all uh, one time cuts versus you know a regular 
a regular thing. And I'm all, you know, I'm advocate for, you know, I don't like to do one-time cuts. I'm not saying I won't do them because I will, but he made some great points in his video yesterday and I'm not, you know, coming down on him or nothing like that. Uh, he was saying that he, he'll do the one-time cuts and he was saying, you know, uh, what's the difference in doing, you know, a one-time cut versus doing, you know, one-time work with a skid steer? Well, you're not going to have regular work with skid steer. I mean, regular every two week jobs with a skid steer, you know, for the most part. Uh, unless you work for a contractor that's building the houses or something. Uh, you're probably not going to be going to the same job every two weeks. So that, I mean, that's just, you know, the lay of the land there. And then you got to factor in, well, if I pencil in a job, a, a, a you know, a, a, lawn, a lawn maintenance job uh, while I'm out and, you know, somebody comes up to me, a neighbor or something, says, hey, can you hit mine real quick, Ray? I ain't got time or whatever. I may do something like that. I'm a lot more prone to do something like that than for somebody to call me out of the blue and have me go somewhere. I'm not advocating for that. I ain't saying I won't do it, but I'm not, it's not my, what I want to do. Uh, a lot of times, if you get caught up doing that kind of thing where you're, you're not being very efficient, though you're making money, you're not making as much as you possibly could. And in my particular situation, and every situation is a little bit different, in my particular situation, considering I got a skid steer, uh, you know, I can either say, okay, I can go do a $150 lawn, you know, and usually it's gonna be a pain in the butt because usually people that, that call for one-time cuts, it's gonna be knee high, uh, it's gonna be, you know, and we're talking about 150 bucks or at the most, usually, you know. So I'm not a, I'm not a big advocate of that. Uh, I'm, I'm more, I'm, I'm more of an advocate of, okay, what, what, what else do I got going on that's more lucrative? What can I do besides this penciled in yard that I knew nothing about when I woke up this morning versus, oh, a skid steer job? Well, it's going to pay 1500 bucks. Well, that's, that's, that's worth it right there. You know, if, if every call in, you know, one time lawn maintenance job was a $1,500 job, well then I'd probably be more prone to do them, right? I mean, I'm just saying I would. Uh, and ain't nothing against people that do or don't. Uh, so it's 8.15 and, and the young buck ain't got here yet. He said he's in traffic on 16. They got one lane or something. You know, I ain't got nothing to do with all that, man. This ain't, this ain't getting it, man. This ain't getting it, dude. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm getting very agitated as I sit here, just like I do every summer when I got guys that can't be on time. And he's driving his mom's car and he's still late. I mean, dude, this is not going to get it, man. I'm not going to be doing this, man. And see, I get such a severe attitude about it that I don't even want him around me. I don't because I feel like you're dragging me, man. I don't care nothing about the, but school traffic and, 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 and sooty and pooty and all that shit. I don't care nothing about none of that. I just want you to be at work on time, you know. I mean, 20 minutes late, and I'm still sitting here. 20 minutes of my time is, 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 you know, if he sat somewhere 20 minutes, he'd want me to pay him. So ain't going to get it, man. So Toby, I got, I, I went on, I went on and uh, sent Toby over to the first two, but see, this kind of thing right here, you're killing me, man, with the dumb shit, man. It just doesn't make sense. And it, it ain't, it ain't, uh, it ain't what I want, where I want to be or what I want to do, man. Uh, and he knows the least of of, of anybody out here. It ain't, it's almost not. See this this twenty five minutes. I could have me and me and Toby could have been done done one of the properties over here and be on to the second one. You know. And but the, but what it does more than anything is is it, it if you can't be on time, just don't come to work, dude. And see that's where that's where it's going to end up being. And then when when that when when that eventually happens, then I'm not going to want him out here no more. Cause see, I had rather, I had rather wake up knowing that that what I got to do instead of this unknown crap. And I, I, I mean, you know, I don't know why I'm crying to y'all about it because y'all know what I'm talking about, and all you guys are telling me if he ain't got no his own vehicle, and yeah, I, I can't hire him, Ray, and I'm with you.
because uh, this is a big deal right here and I'm getting more agitated and more agitated and more agitated so uh, you know uh, it's just you know it's just kitty shit man same thing every time I got a young guy out here it's the same shit same shit I'm not gonna do it man so I'm gonna tell him this morning uh, he's on the verge of, that, of, of, of me not he, he does I don't think he realizes how uh irritating and how uh you know out of pocket it, it puts me right i'm not gonna do it man mm -mm. but here i am doing it right stupid shit you know you're gonna be at work on time you're not gonna work out here i'm not gonna do this shit and i'm gonna tell him that when he gets in the truck if you can't be here at 8 o'clock, don't even worry about coming to work, man. It ain't worth it to me. I'm not going to sit here for 20 minutes every day waiting on you, hoping that you come to work. Ah! Oh, just leave him, Ray. I'm fitting to. But I see, I know if I leave him, then he's going to want to know where we're at. We're right here in the neighborhood. And he would pull up over there in, in, in his mama's car, and then I had to follow him back to my house, to, you know... I'm just going to tell him, if you can't be here at 8 o'clock, don't even worry about it, man. In a couple of days of that, he won't be working out here no more. He ain't worked in a whole week, man. A whole week he ain't worked, and there he is 25 minutes late, the first day back. And you wonder why you ain't worked all week. Because I know what a hassle it is to get to work. There ain't no sense of me keep crying about it, man, because it is what it is, man, you know. And there he's flying in the neighborhood. Slow down, slow down. Don't hit me, dude. And he gonna get in the truck telling me how sorry he is. But see, I don't care nothing about all that shit, man. So y'all see here where the young buck, you know, he, he, he needs to learn how to weed eat. You gotta be able to see the end of the string when you're weed eating. So he cut half her plants, so. Okay, y'all, so we have done, we're making great time. We have done four already so uh yeah okay guys so we're done uh well i need to get better at this time thing man we're having these two guys out here uh and me uh we're pretty we're pretty freaking fast and pretty efficient we could do uh another 200 dollars worth of work really uh and we're, and you know, I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, I say I'm a master of time management. I am in my own time, but I'm having a hard time right now, you know, projecting uh, the two new guys, you know, uh, on here without us. I mean, we're doing a lot of work, man. Uh, it's only one o'clock and we're done. So, I need to, we need to be doing another, you know, two or three properties. Yeah, Toby's a lot faster than Zach and a lot more thorough. He's just a lot better, period, man. He doesn't waste time on dumb crap. I don't know why it would take Zach so long to do some of these properties. Toby's the going and, and doing the same properties that I sent Zach to. He's doing them in a fraction of the time. And see, I'm not wore out. I can literally go and do another three and if i had any if i once i once i get the timing thing down what i would do is i would not have done all the ones in the neighborhood i would have went on and done you know all outside of the neighborhood and then when i got done eating i'd go do one in the neighborhood you know kind of but see, if I do that, then we're gonna run out of work. I gotta get more customers, man. Uh, some kind of, some kind of, some 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 kind of way. Uh, so, yeah. But back to what I was talking about earlier, y'all, about the the one time cut stuff. Um, if I got time, I'll do them. Uh, but it's usually. You know, not, it's, it's, it's certainly not the bread and butter of everything. I don't really like to do them. Uh, and I hope this answers, you know, uh, New Hope Cuts, you know, question about the timing and about, 
uh, the difference in a skid steer one-time job and a lawn mowing one-time job. Because with a skid steer, you're not gonna have every two-week deal. That'd be the number one reason. And even if you did, uh, or was able to do every two weeks and they didn't want to, the skid steer pays enough money where I can overcome any thing physically or mentally in my head that would block me from doing a one-time skid steer job. One-time mowing don't pay, you know, it might, it, it, okay, it'll add another hundred bucks or so on to the day's bottom line. That's great. And if a neighbor comes out while I'm doing these properties, I'll do that most of the time. Uh, but just calling me and, and, and wanting me to come bid it and quote it and and then let you know and all that, I ain't going to do all that. It's got to be right in the, you know, well, I don't want to say I ain't going to do it because I don't like to say that I ain't going to do stuff when it comes to the business and money. Uh, I'm going to do what makes sense. Uh, like today, it would have been sweet if I'd had two neighbors come out and, and us do two one-time cuts. <laughs> then tomorrow... It might not be so sweet if that same thing happened. The unpredictability, I guess, is is a, is is a, what I don't like about one-time cuts. You know, I like to plan my days accordingly, and it's hard to plan your days. Uh, and I fill my days up. You know, like today, I had planned on going to McDonough and buying that part that I need for the skid steer, but uh, I called them this morning. And they gave me the part number. I jumped on Amazon and they're gonna have it. I'm gonna have it tomorrow. So why would I drive 40 miles one way in freaking traffic? You know, take two and a half hours to go down there and back. And it's another $40. It costs 40 more dollars than the one I bought online. And it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. So I'll just, I roll the dice and hope I can get it tomorrow. If not, it'll come Wednesday, but they said tomorrow. And they're, that's what they're saying now, tomorrow. Now, save me money and time, y'all. Anyway, I'm gonna get in the house here and, uh, you know, deposit all the checks and get ready to damn, uh, go get my Sammy. And I got some stuff around the house I need to do, man. Deuces.